Malo and welcome to Season 3, Episode 29 of Breakfast Bites by TavoVosports.com. A wrap of Pacifica People's sports on this bright but cloudy Saturday morning, 29th October 2022. Coming to you from Paradise on the 180th Meridian in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> Thank you, girls. In rugby, rain, heavy at times, will affect the Women's Rugby World Cup quarterfinals in Fongeray today, with France taking on Italy and Wales playing the Black Ferns at Semenoff Stadium. Before England play Australia and Canada face the USA at the Trusts Arena in Auckland tomorrow. At the Rugby League World Cup, Group B remaining games on Sunday, Fiji vs Scotland, followed by Australia vs Italy. Australia is in command, so the Fiji Mbati, who are on plus 22 differential, and Italy on minus 32 diff, will fight it out for second place in the group in the final match. While Scotland is hopeless and winless. The Group C remaining games, New Zealand versus Ireland tonight and Lebanon versus Jamaica tomorrow. Assuming New Zealand win, they will top the group and Lebanon will go through if they beat the Reggae Dancing Queens. Jamaica is winless, seriously, having conceded more points than any other team at a Rugby League World Cup. In Boxing British drug cheat boxer Conor Bin insists he's not a drug cheat, despite testing positive twice for the banned substance clomiphene, ahead of his fight against Chris Eubank Jr., which was canned at some cost, 25 million pounds. Ben says the failed drug tests are the result of contamination of eggs, as he was eating between 30 and 34 eggs a week while training for the fight. But get this, the Department for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs says clomiphene is not permitted for use on animals in the UK. So I guess the big question is, where did Ben import his eggs from? Russia? Iran? Maybe Kazakhstan? Who knows? In football, Qatar's new stadiums have cost in the range of US 6.5 to 10 billion dollars, while a metro system that serves five of the eight venues cost another 36 million dollars. Overall, the FIFA World Cup is expected to cost 220 billion dollars. That's not all Qatar's uh, bill, by the way, that's in total with Qatar anticipating a US $17 billion economic impact or boost from the tournament. Somehow it just doesn't all add up, does it? In the NFL, Giselle Bunchen has filed for divorce from Tampa Bay Buccaneers quarterback Tom Brady and is now speaking out about it. The 42-year-old Brazilian, once the most gorgeous model in the world, posted on Instagram that she and Brady decided to call things off after 13 years of marriage. With much gratitude for our time together, Tom and I have amicably, amicably finalized our divorce, she posted. My priority has always been and will continue to be our children, who I love with all my heart. The decision to end a marriage is never easy. But we have grown apart, and while it is, of course, difficult to go through something like this, I feel blessed for the time we had together, and only wish the best for Tom always. Brady, duh, meanwhile, is having the worst start to the NFL season ever, with some fans calling for him to retire again. I mean, what would you do? Hang out with 30 other guys in a team, or just sell? <laughs> for tableforsports.com, I'm Calden Kamir. Mahalo, vinaa, and thank you. Please hit the subscribe button below if you'd like to receive more Pacifica Sports highlights on Breakfast Bites. And thank you all too much for all your love and support. <laughs>
Thank you, girls.